So let's talk about Musume, which is that restaurant that was in the basement of the Sandman Hotel. So much discussion about it. We know it was badly damaged in the explosion. So Musume is part of a North Texas restaurant group, which also owns a restaurant in Dallas. We've got our I-team reporter, Ginger Allen, with us, joining us live. And Ginger, I know you spent some time speaking with the restaurant owner in this situation, and I know it's been an emotional day for him, probably a lot going through his mind. Can you bring us up to speed on that conversation? Sure, it was emotional for him. His name is Josh Babb, and he spent much of his day or the, his morning here at this Dallas location, but the majority of his day over there in Fort Worth at the same restaurant over there and the scene of this disaster. He has also been at the hospital a lot. He tells me this is a small restaurant family that right now is, quote, so shaken, but then at the same time, quote, so grateful. Looking at the damage, Josh Babb says it's shocking. The three employees inside his Fort Worth restaurant survived. He says he's never seen anything like this. Babb is one of the two owners of Musume, the restaurant in the basement of the Sandman Hotel. He spoke to me by phone because he's been advised not to talk on camera during the investigation. But he was very candid and admittedly in shock. He's been in what he calls a family-run business since 2007. They own nine restaurants in North Texas, including this Musume in Dallas. While he tells me he's been here some of the last two days, he spent most of his time at JPS Hospital, checking on those three employees who were preparing for the dinner crowd at the time of the explosion. He says two are out and home now, but one woman with burns and a broken rib remains hospitalized. He says all of his employees are very close. They are worried about what went wrong. And while there is a lot of speculation, right now Bab is focusing on making sure everyone is okay. He spent much of the afternoon trying to recover their personal belongings from the wreckage, cell phones, backpacks, and laptops. And next, he tells me he will personally call all 40 plus people who worked here and reassign them to one of their other local restaurants. And back out here live again, you're looking at the business in Dallas. This is part of a small business group, according to Bab, that partnered with the Sandman Hotel and opened that Fort Worth location in the base of that hotel six months ago. Off the top, we told you I have been talking to the owner here throughout the day. Actually, right before I came out here for this live shot, he sent me another text, so I'm just going to give you an update as I look down at it. He says he remains in touch with the employees' families, particularly the woman who is in the hospital. He said she is in stable condition at this point, as far as they know, and she remains his priority. He goes on to say we are doing everything possible to assist the professionals as they investigate this cause. And then just seconds before we went on air, he followed up with me with something he wanted me to say. And that is, we are thankful for the organized professional response from the city of Fort Worth. Live at the Dallas location, I'm Ginger Allen for CBS News, Texas.